Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to HowToCookWithFood.com. On the menu today, we're going to make a courgette, kusa, or zucchini, whatever you call that, Indian curry. Healthy, vegetarian, and vegan. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's take a look at this then. So, as you can see, I've got equal parts to zucchini or courgettes to tomato. Try and use a really nice, ripe, juicy tomato. That's going to be the basis of our sauce. By the way, all of the measurements are below in the text. Onion, garlic ginger paste, like one onion, one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, some fresh chili, and keep in mind, you know, large like that, chop them if you want. The big four, equal parts, teaspoon each of turmeric, chili, cumin, and coriander powder. If you like, use a curry powder mix you already have, but I find those four to be wonderful. And then some whole seeds that we're gonna start off with, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, some dried chili, and in this one I'm gonna add some fennel seeds, which I think give it a really lovely flavor. We're gonna start us off with some oil, add some salt, and a couple of other little bits. Let's get to the cooker. Okay, so I've got my pan here. Got some oil in there. I'm using a sunflower oil, but you could be using something different if you want. We're dropping in there our whole seeds, or whole garam masala. Cumin seeds, fennel seeds, and some dried chili. Just let them do their thing just for a few seconds. They'll infuse that oil, give it a great flavor. Then we're gonna add our onion. And staying on this lively heat, I'll be back in about two minutes. Okay, so just a couple of minutes in. Now I'm gonna add our garlic ginger paste. Garlic ginger paste is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. Some salt. My fresh chili. And we're gonna go for two more minutes on this high heat. Super, super easy. Okay, let's grab our tomatoes, our fresh tomatoes. Like I said, try and use a nice ripe one. In they go. Along with our powders, like I said, if you want to use the curry powder you have, I'm using equal parts of chili, turmeric, coriander, and cumin. Let's get that in. Now we want to continue on this high heat and cook these tomatoes for about five to six minutes. What we want is them to break down and turn into our masala or gravy. That's why I suggested that you use a really ripe tomato. If they don't, then we can add a little bit of water. Anyway, I'll be back in about five or six once these guys have broken down. Okay. Now I've done great, I didn't add any water to that. My tomatoes were really juicy and ripe. If you didn't have this amount of liquid come from them, just add a bit of water in here to get it to a consistency you want. Simply, we're gonna go in now with our courgette or zucchini or kusa, whatever you may call that. I've cut mine like that, you can cut it how you want really, you can cut it into rounds if you want. Let's just get that in there. We're gonna turn this down low, not, sim not a simmer, above a simmer, I'm going to get a lid on this, and just let that go for five or six minutes, you can give it a stir every now and then. Okay, off goes the heat, let me get that lid off there and that steam out of the way, and that is looking beautiful. Those uh, Zucchinis be nice and tender now. Gonna just add a little bit of garam masala powder. This is a beautiful little finishing spice. Some fresh cilantro, in it goes, or coriander, whatever you call that. Give that a mix and you're done. Wonderful. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon. Lots of love.